Today, I'm going to show you how to use motion analysis result to animation as an example, a spring animation. So let's get started. First of all, let's design three parts, which is fixed part, moving part, and the spring. So for the spring, we have to design a line and make sure to fully constrain it. So why this value of 1.8? So this 1.8 is the diameter of the profile that we will use for the spring. So make sure that the line is fully constrained with the fixed part and the moving part. And to create this spring, we have uh, to use the sweep function and make sure to use the specified twist value and with the twist control use the revolution. So first of all, let's do some motion analysis. So, uh, to use motion analysis, make sure to check the SOLIDWORKS motion on the uh, addings. So, in the motion analysis, let's add uh, the spring and check the two phase on the uh, fixed part and the moving part to add the spring and then uh, use the spring parameters, especially about the key value, which is one of the most important uh, parameters for spring. Then after that, we need to use the force. Let's just use these parameters. So for the spring, we will just change the value of k as 5 newton per millimeter. And for the force, make sure that the force goes down and we will choose 100 newton. Let's run a motion. We have this motion and as you see that the spring doesn't uh, work perfectly. And that's right in the motion analysis. So let's just create a new motion study because in the animation, this thing should work. Let's create this new motion study. And in the animation uh, wizard, we will import our uh, motion study from the first study. Uh, we calculate it and we have our motion similar to the uh, motion study we have done and with the spring running perfectly and follow uh, the motion. Thank you for watching.